All right, here we're going to look at uh, one more example. So in uh, part B, we've got this series, negative, or excuse me, uh, negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 4 to the n times the natural logarithm of n over 3 to the n times the natural logarithm of n plus 1. So before we even use the uh, ratio test, I'm just going to use the test for divergence. So I'm going to look at the limit as n goes to infinity. I'm going to forget about the negative 1 to the n plus 1 part. I'm just going to look at the rest of it. Um, so the idea uh, for this part, um, we can write this as the limit as n goes to infinity. Um, this would be 4 thirds. I can write the 4 to the n over 3 to the n as 4 over 3 to the n. And then we can multiply that by the limit as n goes to infinity of the natural logarithm of n over the natural logarithm of n plus 1. Notice the first part is just going to go off to infinity. Um, let's think about what happens with the second part here real quick. Um, notice this is going to be infinity over infinity. So, um, you know, something weird could be happening with this one. And then we have infinity times, uh, you know, if this is 0, we would have an indeterminate product, and it would be uh, not clear what's going on. So I'm going to figure out what's going on with this limit. Well, right now it's infinity over infinity. So if we use L'Hopital's rule, uh, we would just have the derivative of natural logarithm of n, which is 1 over n. And the denominator will have 1 over n plus 1. So uh, we'll have n plus 1 over n when we flip and multiply. Since the, the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, that's going to equal 1. So this second uh, factor, its limit's going to equal 1. The first part, we said that's going off to infinity. Again, 4 thirds is a number larger than 1. If you uh, start multiplying that by itself, as n increases, it'll get arbitrarily large. So really, uh, this, this, this limit um, is going to, it's going to alternate between, for large values of n, we'll get you know, positive infinity here. But then it's going to alternate back and forth between, you know, a big negative number, quote-unquote big negative number, uh, and a big positive number. So this limit simply wouldn't exist. So by the test for divergence, uh, our, our series would simply be divergent. And again, recall the test for divergence says if the limit of the original uh, series is not... The, the, the limit of the, you know, the formula associated with the original series. If that's not equal to zero, then the series automatically diverges.